Palestine. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. As Jewish person, I think it's important to stand in solidarity with Palestine every day and show the world that Judaism and Zionism are not the same thing and that Palestinian existence doesn't pose a threat to Jewish safety. But we've been sold a false narrative. And I think it's really important for Jews everywhere to stand up and say, I'm not okay with this and this is not, this is not being done for me. As a Jewish person, I'm here to object to the um, indiscriminate killing of men, women, children in Gaza, the disproportionate response of Israel to uh, October 7th and the events there, and also to show uh, solidarity with the people of Gaza and also the Jewish people here. Jewish people are not a monolith, they all think the same. London is not a no-go zone for Jewish people and to kind of counter some of the ridiculous propaganda that you hear. We come from a people who have been targeted and persecuted and genocided in the past and it's quite painful, I think, to feel like this is being undertaken in my name and it certainly does not reflect my Jewish values which are life for all people. As a Jewish person, I'm here, proud to be here to say, not in my name. The world needs to wake up to the double standards that are being applied. I believe in international law. I believe the Jewish people have been oppressed for many thousands of years. Anti-Semitism is a danger, but none of that justifies the indiscriminate bombing and killing of Palestinian civilians, none whatsoever. As a Jewish person, as a human being, I know that using starvation as a, a weapon of war is immoral, it's illegal. Even our own foreign secretary is talking about how frustrated he is with the Israeli government starving the Palestinian population. It has to end now. As a Jewish person, I am out today with the march um, supporting peace for Palestine because um, I feel that having gone through what we've gone through as Jews in history, we should understand what it's like to be persecuted. I'm Jewish and I'm here and I feel very safe. I actually feel very at home in this crowd of people who just want peace. The idea that London is a no-go zone for Jews is just for the birds. It's rubbish. It's absolute rubbish. I've been here every Shabbat with my kippah on. I've had nothing but love, nothing but welcome from everyone I've spoken to. It's not true. I live in London. I have lived in London all my life and there is nowhere that I would not be comfortable to go. I am amazed when I hear that and it's very, very dangerous because there are Jewish people I know, Jewish men and women of goodwill, who are scared to come to London, baselessly, because they listen, they can't avoid listening to what people who should know better say. Politicians are pushing it as just basically propaganda and to, to push their own narrative to pretend that um, that there isn't another voice that opposes the genocide going on in Gaza uh, and to try and weaponize anti-Semitism to a degree. But as there's thousands of Jewish people who don't think that at all, feel very comfortable in London and oppose the events in Gaza right now. These Jews have come out specially. There were 500 of us meeting outside Belgrave Square. We've all come here on purpose to show that that's rubbish. Look around you. There's a large number of Jews here, and we feel at ease. I'm here today as a Jew to make sure that there's a Jewish voice on this march. There is a large sector of the Jewish communities that are appalled and don't know what to do in the face of the Board of Deputies and the Leadership Councils. I'm here today because ethnic cleansing is fundamental to the Zionist project. One, two, three, four. Occupation no more. Five, six, seven, eight. Israel is a terror state. As a Jewish person in London at weekends, I don't believe these statements that it's unsafe. I walk around, there's no sense of embattlement. There's a great sense of embattlement of certain parts of the Jewish community. There's always this talk about people feeling uncomfortable when they draw when people draw attention to to them, you know, to what's happening in Gaza. But we're feeling uncomfortable about what's happening in Gaza. You know, why why is that written off as unimportant compared to feeling uncomfortable, you know, that you draw attention to it? We've been marching before very often. The last three times I've gone on this march, it's been with my Muslim friends. 
I don't feel threatened by them and they certainly don't feel threatened by me. I've not experienced any anti-Semitism or any, anything that's made me feel uncomfortable. And I do understand why Jews are feeling scared to be in central London when this protest is going on. I think before I came to the protest, the first time that I, I saw it going past my building, I was actually a bit, um, I, was a, I was feeling a bit unsafe because I didn't really know what to expect. But having been here, uh, I understand that that's, that's not how it is at all. And I think that if, if more Jewish people come out here, they'll see that actually, you know, holding um, pro-Palestinian um, flags and scarves and, and, and wearing Palestine, you know, pro-Palestinian scarves does not mean that someone is anti-Semitic. It means that they're supporting the people of Palestine and they just want peace and freedom for the people of Palestine. Stop the genocide! Stop the genocide!